We're coming up on 520 and we are waking up with temperatures that are significantly warmer than yesterday. 34 degrees outside of our millionaire sky cam winds right now are out of our north, but they will quickly shift out of our south and that's going to draw in heat as well as warm moisture. Right now you've got 36 in Tappahannock, 31 in the Tri Cities. You're actually one of the colder spots this time around. 36 over in Louisa. You've got 37 in Danville as well as South Hill. The moment that sun comes up, your temperatures are going to rise. Lunchtime will be spent in the low 50s. After lunch will be in the upper 50s to low 60s. Now tonight, we're not going to see those numbers drop too much. You know, typically once that sun sets, your temperatures will they follow suit. That's not going to be the case because we will see more in the way of cloud cover. That's going to hold in today's heat like a little heated blanket, and that's going to allow for a very mild start tomorrow where we're waking up in those 50s. Right now, of course, we do have some very thin clouds outside. You're still going to get plenty of sunshine as we go throughout the day, but we've got this very large system that is currently just off to our west, and it's going to bring severe weather to areas in Texas as well as Louisiana, Oklahoma City, where they do have a moderate risk. That's risk number four out of five. So this is going to be a situation we've got to keep a very close eye on in case you are going to be traveling. That system then is going to move its way into the twin states as we head into tomorrow. So what exactly does that mean for us? It's obviously moving its way eastward and we're going to feel the impacts of the system as we go throughout the next few days. As far as today, you'll just notice clouds slowly increasing accompanied with your temperatures. Tomorrow, that system is still going to be well off to our west. We're going to have plenty of cloud cover. Wouldn't be surprised if you saw a sprinkle or two in the early afternoon hours just off to our west. But then as we go into Saturday afternoon evening, that's when those winds are really going to ramp up ahead of the system becoming gusty around 15 to 25 miles per hour. Then you've got that gust in the upper 30s taking place overnight. We'll see some scattered thunderstorms. That system's quickly going to move out. This is not a big rain maker, but it is a big wind situation that's going to be taking place Saturday night into Sunday. Winds look to be streamlining out of the south ahead of it 15 to 25 and then of course gusting near 40 as we had overnight and even within early Sunday morning before things will begin to subside. Temperatures feeling like spring 62 degrees today. You'll see some sunshine tomorrow when you wake up. We're in the 50s by the afternoon 73. We're looking to break a record that was set back in 1975. That 20% is after majority of you go to sleep. I'm talking 11 p.m. We'll see the rain as well as the wind and a few embedded thunderstorms. You've got rain early Saturday, but then Saturday afternoon it moves out. Temperatures will top out in the low 70s. Monday's not a washout either, Robin Reba. A few isolated showers are in store as temperatures will continue to stay and above average in those 50s and 60s. Guys.